is Himalayas formation. Himalayan formation. We have already seen Himalayan formation. Himalayan formation. Why is Himalayas formed? It is formed because of the CC collision. It is formed because of the CC collision between the CC collision between the Eurasian plate, Eurasian plate, and the and the Indian plate. The Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. They coat, they both collided and led to upliftment of the Himalayas. One. The second is so there are three important ranges: Great Himalayas and Middle Himalayas. Okay. If I say they have been uplifted, they have been uplifted. What the marine? I should say this: they are uplifted marine sedimentary rocks. They uplifted marine sedimentary rocks. They are uplifted marine sedimentary rocks. Okay, all of you, did you understand what is happening? Himalayan formation. We are talking about Himalayan formation. This is the Indian plate, the Indian plate, and this is the Eurasian plate. The Indian plate, along with the Tethys Sea, the Tethys Sea. Okay. It at least see me rocks. Take one say rock, take marine, marine rocks. Take it, they are sedimentary rocks. They are sedimentary rocks. Take it, they got uplifted both for the great Himalayas and the middle Himalayas. But what happened for Shivaliks? What happened for Shivaliks? These are uplifted. Uplifted fluvial deposits. These are uplifted fluvial deposits. Okay. Just write this down. I will explain each of these things to you. Okay. First, write this down. So, uplifted fluvial deposits. See how is Himalayas formed? The Himalayas is formed when the Indian plate. When the Indian plate it actually collided with the Eurasian plate. So this is your Eurasian plate. This is your Indian plate. ठीक है Indian plate. ये जो Indian plate थी यहाँ पे there was this Tethys Sea. There was this Tethys Sea. ये Tethys Sea क्या था? So Tethys Sea is basically nothing but a very long depression. It was a very long depression. Okay, with with shallow with sediments with marine sediments, marine sediments. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen? So it's like if this is your beaker, ठीक है? Beaker पे I have put one stretched rubber, stretched balloon. मैंने ये stretched balloon डाल दिया beaker पे. ठीक है एंड नाउ आई एम पुटिंग सेडिमेंट्स पुटिंग सेडिमेंट्स पुटिंग सेडिमेंट्स सेडिमेंट्स डू यू थिंक द द स्ट्रेच्ड मेम्ब्रेन विल एक्चुअली सिंक ठीक है देयर इज अ बीकर ऑन व्हिच आई हैव पुट अ स्ट्रेच्ड मेम्ब्रेन आई एम पुटिंग सेडिमेंट्स इन इट इन इट इन इट इट द सेडिमेंट्स विल सिंक द द द स्ट्रेच्ड मेम्ब्रेन विल सिंक ठीक है कंसीडर टेथी सी लाइक दिस Consider Tethy Sea like this. Here in the Tethy Sea, lot many sediments were formed. बहुत सारे marine sediments. These marine sediments were deposited. ठीक है? These marine sediments were deposited, and you call this type of structure as what? You call this type of structure as a geo syncline. Call this structure as a geo syncline. Okay, so Tethy Sea is nothing but a geo syncline. It's a large depression, just me marine sediments, hai, marine rocks, hai, oceanic rocks. Hai, okay, now imagine, now imagine between these two continents, there is a Tethy Sea where there's a lot of sediments deposited. 
Now, if there is collision, if there is collision, will the sediments be uplifted? Yes. So these upliftment of the sediments, that is the Great Himalayas and the Middle Himalayas. The Great Himalayas and the Middle Himalayas uplifted because of the Tethy Sea and the Geosyncline Depression. So this is about the formation of the Great Himalayas and the Middle Himalayas. Now, the Great Himalayas and the Middle Himalayas, the composition of the rock is not same. The composition of this, this and this is not same. Why? What is Shivalik? What is Shivalik? See, if this is your Great Himalayas, if this is your Middle Himalayas, and imagine this is a depression, and imagine this is your plateau. Okay, can you all imagine this? This is your Great Himalayas. This is your Middle Himalayas. This is your Trans Himalayas. This is your Eurasian plate. This is your Eurasian plate. Okay. Abhi Shivaliks, has Shivaliks been formed? No. There is no Shivalik as of now. Now what is happening? What is happening here? The rivers. The rivers, they are flowing into this depression. The rivers, they can cut across the Himalayas. They can cut across the Himalayas and deposit the sediment here. Okay. The sediments will be deposited at this depression. Are these sediments marine sediments? Are they from marine? That means from the ocean. Are they from the ocean? No. Are they from the rivers? What do you call sediments from the rivers? You call them as the fluvial sediments. These are fluvial sediments. Now imagine, now imagine there is again, there is again convergence between the Eurasian plate and between the Indian plate, between the Eurasian plate and the between the Eurasian plates. Will these sediments be uplifted? What will we have then? We will have, we will have a formation like this. We will have the formation like, okay, this is your Eurasian plate. This is your Trans Himalayas, Middle Himalayas, Great Himalayas, Middle Himalayas. And you will have the Shivalik formation. You will have the Shivalik formation. Great Himalayas, Middle Himalayas, Trans Himalayas, Eurasian plate. Okay. This is your plateau. Okay, so what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is the Himalayas, they are formed because of the continent and continent collision. The composition of the great Himalayas and middle Himalayas is that of the, is that of the marine sedimentary rocks, marine sedimentary rocks. Whereas the formation of Shivalik is the fluvial uplifted sediments. They are uplifted fluvial sediments. Take care.